Gen Zero FXB Andreas UK. When you get your jumbo spot, take the SD card out, put it into an SD card adapter, and then plug that into your computer. So you've got the SD card adapter plugged into your computer. Go along the bottom here, select this little file picture here, file explorer. Scroll down here and go to your F, find your F drive. Then go to, put that to one side. You've got, you're on the PyStar page here, which is pystar.uk. Go to Wi-Fi Builder. So it's under one of the PyStar tools. Select Wi-Fi Builder. In here, put in your username and password for your router. So we'll just go username. We'll do password as user. That'll be fine. Click Submit. And then you'll have a file come up here. See it appear on the bottom left there? So just show in folder by selecting it, right click and then send it to your F drive. See that? That's your F drive, your F drive there. W once you've done that, we're going to uh, remove it and put it into the, the jumbo spot. Okay, just um, when it's off, put the SD card in like that. It only goes in one way, and then power it up with a mini USB. When it first powers up, it will look blank like this. As it's applying, it looks like this takes a few minutes click OK to this and then stay on the configuration page and you'll scroll down to general configuration hopefully your call sign has gone in and your frequency now we need to select the jumbo spot so for a standard jumbo spot just scroll down to the one this one here if you can see it there and again, uh, what we'll do this time, we'll also select DMR up here, but you could select D star YSF. So we'll select that as well, DMR. I haven't changed any of this because it's a simplex one. Uh, we've selected the one we like, and then we're going to hit apply changes again. Ag this does take a few minutes each time. When it boots up, you'll see it come to life and you'll see the display. Some of them are all blue, this one's yellow and blue. But you'll see the activity and the call signs coming in. Right, if you look, you can see now that the, the hat is now selected. We now just need to get in our DMR number. Because we're on the DMR one, it won't work without your DMR number. We also need to select the screen. So when it's just a small, small square blue screen on top of the hat, it's an OLED 3. And then the middle selector is this one here, Devity AMO. Apply those changes. If you chose D-Star, it will look like this. And if you look here, you've got repeater 1 and repeater 2 is B and G. So when you put that into your radio, remember to leave a couple of gaps. So if you've selected DMR, you you can see this is on DMR. You can go to here where it says BM United Kingdom, and you can select where you want to go. The most common is BM two three four one, and then apply, and that's for the DMR system. I'll show you the D Star and the YSF next. If you chose D star, it will look like this. And if you look here, you've got repeater one and repeater two is B and G. So when you put that into your radio, remember to leave a couple of gaps. Now turn your radio on to the, uh, the same frequency as your as your hotspot. 
you can enter this in your DMR code plug. With Fusion, you use a, a simplex frequency. Um, with D-Star, you can use the simplex frequency, but you have to add repeater 1 and repeater 2, and you need to add your cosine uh, with two spaces and a B. So here's my uh, Kenwood D74, and it's working from, uh, from the hotspot. You need to put the, uh, you know, the frequency of your hotspot into your, into your um, Pi Star settings. Um, you can select one Charlie on the radio, or you can select, uh, you can select it by just, you know, um, in the computer. Hopefully, this all helps. Any messages, any any uh, queries, just send me a message. M0FXB. Uh, please subscribe.